The wreckage of the cargo ship lay silent and broken, a ghastly monument to the violence of its descent. Twisted metal and shattered glass littered the landscape, each piece telling a silent story of terror and survival. Its passengers, a group of students, and their captain picked their way through the debris, their faces pale and their bodies aching, assessing their injuries and their predicament. The mountains around them were a looming, enigmatic presence, their peaks hidden in the swirling clouds, their slopes covered in dense, ancient forest. A forest that seemed to watch them, its secrets hidden in the shadows. As night began to fall, they made camp, the flicker of a small fire casting ghostly shadows on their faces. Their minds were filled with questions and fears, the riddles of their ordeal gnawing at them like a persistent ache. Where were they? And what of a lost friend whose terrified eyes forever etched in their memories? Unseen by the students, the monks of Yunshan Monastery gathered, their faces pale with astonishment and uncertainty, their robes rustling softly in the chill mountain breeze. They stood among the ancient trees, their eyes wide, their minds struggling to grasp the implications of what they had witnessed. This is the sign, said one, his voice trembling with awe and fear. The sign from the heavens. The prophecy is unfolding. They made their way to the crash site, their steps guided by wisdom and a sense of destiny their hearts heavy with the responsibility of their calling. When morning dawned, the students awoke to find themselves surrounded by the monks, their faces calm but their eyes filled with curiosity and concern. Their appearance was as unexpected as it was surreal, their humble robes and serene expressions at odds with the chaos of the wreckage. Who are you? asked Constantine, his voice wary but respectful, his eyes scanning their faces for a hint of their intentions. We are the humble servants of Yunshan, replied the lead monk, his voice gentle, his eyes filled with kindness. We have come to help you. The students were taken aback, their minds racing, their instincts on high alert. At least, their translators were still working after that crash. Clearly, they were not speaking English, but the fact that they were speaking an ancient dialect from hundreds of years ago gave them pause. Indeed, even the monks' appearance, their clothing, their manner of speech, it was all so foreign, so out of place with what they knew. You are far from home, the monk continued, his words simple but profound. We will take you to our monastery. There, you may find shelter and answers. The journey to Yunshan Monastery was a revelation, a passage through a world untouched by time. The students were led through narrow mountain paths, their feet treading on stones worn smooth by centuries of pilgrims across crystal clear streams that sparkled with a purity they had never seen, and through dense forests that seemed to breathe with the life of the earth. At the monastery, they were welcomed with warmth and hospitality, an oasis of peace in their turbulent journey. They were fed with simple but nourishing food, their wounds were tended with ancient herbal remedies, and they were given a place to rest, the soft chants of the monks a soothing lullaby. You are safe here, the lead monk assured them, his eyes twinkling with a wisdom that seemed to transcend mere knowledge. But there is much we must discuss. Your arrival was foretold, but the meaning of it is still unclear. The 
the students couldn't shake the feeling that they were part of something much larger. Something that transcended their understanding. The monks, with their quiet wisdom and enigmatic smiles, seemed to hold the keys to a puzzle that was only just beginning to take shape.